folks, welcome to another Neurotransmitter Series video by Wilhelm the Esoteric. Thanks for stopping by. For today, we're going to be going over the implications and roles that both dopamine and norepinephrine play in ADHD. And I figured for today, such a lovely day out, that we have a video outside for a change. Anyway, so we're going to be talking about dopamine, norepinephrine, and a little bit about epinephrine. The three of those describes the kind of coal mine neurotransmitters when it comes to ADHD. But we're going to be focusing on dopamine and norepinephrine. So let's get epinephrine out of the way. Epinephrine, also called adrenaline, is a hormone that is secreted mainly by the medulla of the adrenal glands, and that functions primarily to increase cardiac output and to raise glucose levels in the blood. Through a process of neurochemistry, epinephrine eventually turns into norepinephrine. TLDR, what's good for epinephrine is going to be good for our good friend norepinephrine. Alright, to say so long to epinephrine, let's move on now. What is the research implicate? If you haven't noticed the theme already, People with ADHD got low levels of dopamine and of norepinephrine. So, what do they do? What does dopamine do? What does norepinephrine do? Let's find out. Dopamine. A neurotransmitter that affects your levels of concentration, focus, motivation, pleasure, senses, memory, cognition, sleep, etc., etc. Dopamine, along with neurotransmitter norepinephrine, are the two main neurotransmitters that most stimulant medications work with along with serotonin to a lesser extent. Now, norepinephrine is a neurotransmitter and stress hormone that deals with attentiveness, emotions, impulse control, planning ahead, sleep, interpreting actions of others, etc., etc. Dopamine, ironically enough, also synthesizes norepinephrine. You all get that? So norepinephrine is pretty dependent upon dopamine, which makes a lot of sense if you have inattentive ADHD, because uh, look, looking back at norepinephrine, it helps with attentiveness, emotions, planning ahead, sleep. Yeah, it's a pretty big deal when it comes to ADHD, regardless of whether it's inattentive or not. So. As you can see, very crucial neurotransmitters. Let's find out what happens if we have low levels of those two neurotransmitters. Research has shown that those with ADHD have lower dopamine levels for various reasons, whether that be diet, bad sleep, quality, brain having a dopamine reuptake system that works really fast. That's what research is saying now, that a reuptake system of dopamine might be a little too quick. So. Having low dopamine levels will cause issues with concentration, memory, low drive motivation, anxiety, and sleep. Which ironically enough, bad sleep contributes to even lower dopamine levels. Good lord, when am I going to catch a break? Some people might be thinking. Moving on. Research has shown that those with ADHD have lower norepinephrine levels for various reasons as well. Whether that be diet, bad sleep, Brain having a fast reuptake system, you know the drill. Having low levels of norepinephrine will cause issues with lethargy, inattention, lack of focus, lack of concentration, etc, etc. Sounds a lot like ADHD to me. So, that sounds like a lot of bad news. Thankfully, there are remedies and stuff that can help. We can improve our diet, we can also improve our supplement intake in order to raise the levels of those neurotransmitters. How do we do that? Let's find out. Foods that increase dopamine. These will also assist with norepinephrine because remember, dopamine synthesizes norepinephrine. So that includes dairy foods such as milk, cheese, and yogurt, and processed meats such as beef, chicken, and turkey, omega-3 rich fish such as salmon, mackerel, eggs, fruits, and vegetables. Nuts such as almonds and walnuts and dark chocolate. So there you have it. In terms of supplements, what helps increase or what helps the brain out, brain and body out with dopamine and norepinephrine? And acetyltyrosine helps the brain out with dopamine and norepinephrine. Great supplement to take. 
Grapeseed extract helps the brain out with dopamine, norepinephrine, epinephrine, and serotonin. Great supplement to start out with. And at last, NADH is a supplement a lot of people have said is helpful for them. So that was a video on dopamine and norepinephrine. Hopefully it was of some help and some insight to you, a loved one, a colleague, or a friend. And remember, if champagne wishes and caviar dreams, this is truly living in the lap of luxury. Thanks for stopping by, folks. See you all around.